Here uh, and else we're gonna do today. Just gonna put them here so you can admire them until we get started. Hey, Lenica! Oh, you can hear me. That's great. Hey, Mimi. Hey, Patricia. Hello. Okay. Great. Um. So. Yeah, let's get started. It's me, Selena, here. And today we are going to do some sparkly, sparkly uh, Easter nails. And they're gonna, it's going to look something like this. We'll see how many of these we got time for, but I'm just going to get started, I think. Hey, Marta. Hey, Nathis. Hello, hello to everyone. Hope that you have been having a great day so far. Or if you're having a great morning. Let me know where you are watching from. Which country or city. And let me know something fun that happened today. I actually prepared some nails here. So I'm just going to put these to the side. Um, I got some nails prepared here. Like a pro chef. <laughs> so it's gonna be a little bit faster to do this. So I just got white base, a white base, and then a nude base. And the nude base is utter perfection from Light Elegance. I think we're gonna get started with um, with this nail because this is very Eastery. It looks like an Easter egg. So I think we're gonna get started with this one, just to make it simple. So we're gonna put it here. Let's put those here so you can see them if you want to. And I think we're going to move this all the way here, actually. There you go. Let me know if you want me to zoom in. I don't think I can zoom in any anymore, though. But if you want me to do something, just let me know. Yes, we are actually going to uh, restock the feathers. They're coming back into the shop. Yay! Um, just uh, working on it right now. It's going to be a full pack with other stuff as well, stuff that you need. So, um, yes, they will be back. Watching from Canada, Courtney. Oh, you got snowstorm today. No. Uh, we want spring now, right? So for this nail, I'm going to use um, pastels, the Light Elegance pastel paints. And... Uh, I'm going to use the same colors as I did. So we're going to use uh, pink. And we're going to use purple. And blue. Hey, Agnes. Hi, Tracy. <laughs> Again. <laughs> uh, hey, okay, so I'm going to use these colors right here. And we're going to mush them up. And it's so easy. So fast. You don't even know. Thanks so much for having these tutorials. It's my pleasure. I love chatting with you guys and just chilling and hanging out. So we're going to do um, like a marble background, but with the pastels. It's going to be, as I said, you know, super duper easy. I'm going to use my block brush that you can find in my brush kit at Light Elegance. You're just going to go ahead and pick any color here that you want to use and just dab it on and if you don't have the pastel paints you can of course do this with any color um you might want to do this in two layers depending on the pigmentation of the colors um but that's about it uh, other from that it is the same thing i love working with these pastel paints because they're so like mushy and they're really easy to mush together <laughs> and you don't have to think about like which color you place next to which one they're all gonna look good together so what i'm doing here i'm just blending out that edge a little bit Hur du tippen med lite häftmassa bara? Super enkelt. Eller så kan du använda våra glue tabs. Funkar också superbra, faktiskt bättre. Bettad. Hi, everyone. Um, so I was just answering a comment here. How I am attaching 
my tip to the tip holder and I'm just using blue tack, but uh, it was actually, I think it was Monette who showed, I think she showed it in one of her lives. I'm not sure. I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Um, that you can use glue tabs as well to attach the tips and it actually works better than um, blue tack. So, hey Alva, hela gänget är här som musik. Nästan hela gänget i alla fall. So I'm coming in with the pink right here. Same thing, just going over the edges. And this does not have to be perfect at all. Um, just because of the colors, it's going to look pretty either way. Because the colors are so pretty. So I'm just dabbing between the colors. So... Nothing more advanced than that. Cool. So now we're going to pop this into the light and we're going to cure that for actually 60 seconds because I don't trust the paint being cured in just 30 seconds. Um, I think we're going to move straight on to uh, the next nail and we're going to do uh, this one right here because it actually has a smile line underneath here. So I'm going to show you how to do that. It is the same uh, mushing technique, but we're going to do a smile line. Älskar färgerna. Yes, I love the colors too. They're so pretty. I've used these for years and years and years, and I always come back to them, especially, of course, around spring, summertime. They're amazing. So what we're going to do here is to grab uh, a striping brush. I'm using my striping. And here I'm using a, just a regular palette. We're actually gonna bring in some new palettes also to the shop. So make sure to uh, keep your eyes out for that. And now to create a smile line here. Nej men hej Liga! Nathalie, är det gel paints? Ja, det är gel paints. Patricia, här kör vi multitasking. Bygger Lego med sonen och kolla nail art. Ja men det låter ju som en grym combo. So first off, when we're creating a, a smile line, a paint on smile line, you want to start with this area first. So just go straight over the nail like that. And then you take some more paint and you're going to start from the side and draw a, almost like a straight line going from the side all the way up here. And I got something mushy here. Get away, get away. Get away, get away, get away, get away. Then we're gonna do the same thing. And we need to measure out where we started. So we're gonna start here. And then we just do the same thing on the opposite side. Like that. Then you take some more paint and you start here. And then you just round off the middle section. We end up in the center and now you are ready to just basically fill this in. Okay, so there's your smile line. Godis färger! <laughs> Verkligen! Det blir som små påskägg. And then you can just go in and adjust your little smile line here. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is to grab my block brush again. Uh, now, if you have other colors that are maybe not this pigmented, then I would recommend you to go ahead and um, actually put down a white base. So do this, but with white instead of going straight in with your colors. Um, because right now I'm actually going to go over these colors as well. So if they're not pigmented enough then it's gonna look weird so choose uh, colors that are highly pigmented if you want to do this or put down a white base first man älskar ju verkligen att se proffs jobba må <laughs> tack what a compliment okay so i'm just mushing out that little section 
two. And then I'm just going to come in with some blue on the edge right here. Hopefully you can see this. I need to back up my little hand. Bye. And come in here. And I'm actually just going to go straight over that line. Mush it up with the blue. And then mush it together with the purple. And yes, mushing is a professional term. So in between, every time I start to blend the colors together, I clean my brush so I have a clean brush to work with. Okay, so of course you can come in and add more colors if you want to, but I'm uh, pretty happy with that. If you want to adjust your smile line, just come back in with your striping brush. I think I'm pretty happy with it though. I'm just going to show you. Uh, make sure also to uh, turn the nail like this and double check it from this end uh, because then you're going to notice if one side is maybe a little bit steeper than the other. Right now I'm trying to avoid that little bump <laughs> right there. We're going to paint a flower over it anyway. So yeah, doesn't really matter. But here you go. So fast and easy. You can use any colors you like, of course. Vad heter pensen? Uh, the brush that I'm working with is called Stripey, and it's part of my uh, nail art brush kit. So there it is. And it's from Light Elegance, so you can find it at the Light Elegance website. Uh, jävla smart sätt att titta ut Smileline. Måste pröva. Ja, och det är så snabbt. Så kul. Det är roligt när det går snabbt, och det är kul och det är lätt. Annars så hatar jag <laughs> Smilelines. Men när det är snabbt, och det är kul, och det är lätt. Okay, so what we're going to do now, because we're going to create this, is so easy, so simple, but you need something like this. It doesn't have to be exactly this, but something like this. It could be, it could be a dry glitter as well, but I've got the white lace from Light Audience. This is so darn old. They don't do it anymore, I think. Maybe, um, mm, I might be lying. Um, and here's the black lace. I'm not sure, but I think I saw someone saying that, oh my God, I wish that you brought the lace back and blah, blah. So I don't know. Maybe they're gone. Maybe they're not. Dregel. <laughs> block, jag för mig den heter. Ja, det här är block. Uh, this is the block brush. And this is actually a mushed up block brush. I like mushed today, apparently. Um because uh, I'm going to use it to spread out um, my uh, glitter gels or the lace gels. Tänk dig på den andra lilla. Precis. Block och uh, stripey. Hej, Monet! Köp! Köp den! <laughs> ja, men det är bra, va? Sälj! Ja, men den är svinbra. Den är så bra. Och man måste ha faktiskt... Måste, måste. Men det är bra att ha några stycken. Uh, I'm going to start with the black lace and you don't need much. You need like the tiniest little bit. So I'm just going to start dabbing it out and that's like it. Um, I'm actually going to clean my brush off because I don't want to add more than that. Uh, it's easier to add more later if you need to. So if you um, didn't get the reference, this is supposed to look like one of those eggs, like those dotty spotted eggs that is what this is but like in a pastel version like a barbie easter egg and so you can do only black or only white if you want to but i like to well like i've done this once i enjoyed looking at it when it was both like black and white so we're gonna cure this first and then we're gonna add the white Hej Elin! Hallå, hallå! Nu är vi nästan alla här. Snart så. Eller så kanske vi är alla här. Okay, so for this one, we're gonna create um, some little flowers. And as you can see here now, if you want to do the spotted dotty egg design, you can go ahead and do that here. So easy. And then just put, sorry, then you put just like super shiny or flat mat or your top whatever on top of this and then you're done. It's like the fastest, easiest design ever, but it looks very advanced and you know, we like that. Uh, so for this 
design or this uh, flower, I'm going to go in with Swirly, which is another brush from my brush kit. And we're going to create um, some flowers. Hej Cecilia! Har aldrig älskat påskägg så mycket som jag gör just nu! Ja, men det är bra Alva. De är ju söta liksom. Det är ju så. Okay, so we're going to start with... Whoops! Uh, we're going to start with some purple. Because why not? And we're going to start on this side. Because we have purple right here in the center. So if I'm going to do a purple flower, I want to do it here. So there are a couple of different ways that you can do these flowers. Uh, personally, I just go in and do... Like I push it down and then I lift it up like that. And then I get a tiny little petal. You can also uh, place dots and then uh, pull this in with your stripey brush. I can show you that as well. But for now, we're gonna use this technique. And if you just have the technique down, then it's, this is so fast and so easy. Okay, so in the center here, we're gonna put some crystals. So it doesn't have to look perfect in the center. So we're just gonna leave it like that. But actually I'm gonna flash cure it because when you do little flowers like that, you don't want them to start like uh, melting out. Uh, so that's why you wanna flash cure in between. Are you using buttercreams? No, today I am using the gel paints. Maria, I need those gel paints. Yes, they are amazing. Truly amazing. Okay, so let's move on to my little egg nail. And we are going to add some of that white lace that looks like this. So we're just gonna dab the brush into this. It This is so old. <laughs> it is like, oh my God. Then you see egg. Let me see this one. But it works, it still works. And then we're just gonna add a little bit of that white on top of this. But as I said, you don't have to use white. You can just go ahead and leave it with black if you want to, or maybe just white. And if you don't have the lace gels, you can of course use dry glitter for this and just place down uh, a slip layer and then add your glitter to that. So easy. Okay. Uh, alltid gjort blommor med en dotting tool. Detta ser ju så mycket enklare ut. Ja, men det är lite både och. Det är vilket som. Alltså, verkligen. Um, if you enjoyed this live, please share it so more people get to join. Yes! Please share this video. I, share, it sounds like I'm talking about a chair. Uh, share this video so uh, more people can watch it. That would be so much fun. So I'm going to come in with the blue gel paint. And we're going to do the same thing. So we're just going to put it oh, somewhere around here. So you just wiggle a little bit and then you lift. And that's it. So wiggle, press it down and lift. And wiggle, 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 and lift. And wiggle, wiggle, and lift. And all together now, wiggle, wiggle, and lift. And if you want to make them a little bit larger, then you can just, of course, come in afterwards and wiggle a little bit more. And something like that. We're gonna pop that in. And now we got this nail. So basically, uh, the last thing we're gonna do is just add a matte top. So we're gonna do that. And this is a little bit bumpy right now, but I feel like the matte top should even it out. If it's too bumpy, then I would come in with a thin layer of clear first and then put my top on top of that. And then we're just gonna pop that in as well. I'm just gonna leave it for a couple of seconds because if you leave it, it will start to fill out 
those little bumps as well. Um, but since I'm using a matte top, when I clean this, it's not going to look as bumpy. So that's nice. Carrie, I'm here. I had trouble finding it. God, oh my god, no. But you're here now. And we're going to save it, of course, as always. <laughs> wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> yes, wiggle. All right, so we're going to move on to our next flower. And it's going to be a pink one. And let's do the wiggle again. Hello, Zina. Wiggle, wiggle. <laughs> Always a pleasure to watch you working. Oh, thank you. So let's do the wiggle together. <clears throat> so you have to clear your throat. And let's do the wiggle. Okay, I want to I wanna hear how many, how many of you are doing the wiggle together with me. Let's do it together. Uh, okay. Are you ready? Okay. One, two, three. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. And lift. You better do this with me now. Okay, and wiggle, 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 and lift. Okay, we've got three more to go. Make sure you're wiggling with me. And wiggle, wiggle, and lift. Two more. Wiggle, wiggle, lift. Last one. You better do this with me this time. And wiggle, 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 and lift. Okay, I want to hear how many of you did the wiggle with me. <laughs> now we're going to pop this into the light. It would be fun, fun to hear uh, the reactions around you. Your family watching. Like, what the frick is going on over there? Well, the buttercreams works just as well. Absolutely. Yes. Okay, so we're just going to clean this. And this is your little egg nail. I'm just going to clean up the sides a little bit. Mm -mm -mm. Like that and a little bit here and this design i mean it's so easy to do you can do like half the nail you can do it as a smile line you can do uh horizontal vertical like half and half uh just keep like a nude on the other side so easy and yeah, so have fun with this design. My dog, <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I missed. Oh, Karin did it. Uh, Alva, my dog looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> Winnie, my husband looks at me like I'm crazy. That is perfect. That is exactly what I was hoping for. I'm here all by myself though. Maybe that's even weirder in a way. Okay, so we're going to put this to the side now. So that one is done and we're going to finish this one off. So here you have that. And I think just for to make this easy, my min hund under fasen som försiggår. Vilka får sitt huvud fram och tillbaka med wiggle wiggle. Perfect. Perfect. I love it. Um so what we're, what we're going to do here now, I'm going to I'm going to do the easy way now. This is not what I would have done on a client, but now to make sure that we can do a lot of designs i am going to do it the fast way so right now i'm just putting on some flat mat the uh, matte top gloss and oh actually and you know what no i'm not gonna do that i'm gonna do more dots i just realized that i had dots on the other ones we're gonna do that of course you don't have to do dots if you don't want to but if you're happy with the wiggle and you want to continue you can do that but we're gonna do dots and for this, you need a couple of different dotting tools. I am using actually all three from Let Elegance. Let me see if I can find them. Uh, two, one, and two. No, I want a three. There you go. Three. So all three sizes from Let Elegance are we going to use. Mm -mm -mm. And let's start with the biggest dots. I'm going to use the number three. And we're going to create some yellow because we don't have any yellow in here. So that, that's why, you know, I can add some extra yellow to this. And we're just randomly going to place it. This is perfect. Like if you, if you have an area in your smile line that you're not happy with, just put a dot over it. 
So easy. No one will know. Nobody's gonna know. That's a TikTok thing. They're gonna know. How would they know? Okay, um, after that, we are going to move on to purple. Yes, no, yes, no, no, blue. We're gonna do blue. Yes, blue. And now I'm using the um, middle-sized dotting tool. Same thing here, just randomly place it. Don't think too much. Just add some pretty dots. But also make sure to leave some space for the last dots, which are going to be purple. Or pink. I don't know. No, purple. <laughs> Not this button. How little no button mean reference. How would they know? How would they know? They're gonna know. Okay. So we're gonna go in with the purple. And since these are the smallest ones, just add them a little bit here and there. And I'm also adding it to the nude part of the design. Okay. Oh, seeing one spot here. There you go. Now we are going to here. Okay. <sighs> and let's see if we can start with the next one. Let's do. Okay, you have to decide. Do you want to do the? shimmery one or do you want to do the bunny ears we're gonna finish up with this one so bunny ears or shimmer let me know in the comments you get to decide now do, 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 do. i'm not gonna take that one out just yet so this is the first one we did uh if you want to take a look at this or actually you know what take a look at this decide bunny or shimmer and i'm gonna get the shimmer because we're gonna do that um, either way, at some point, so I need it. Ooh. Okay, let's see what you got. Bunny, bunny, bunny. Not this one to shimmer. <laughs> bunny, 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 bunny. Okay, it seems like it's bunny. Okay, let's start with bunny, and then we're gonna do the shimmer. Okay, bunny, bunny. Yes, yes, yes. I see you. I see you. I hear you. Um, okay, so actually I'm going to start with that background, no, actually we don't have a background for that one, well we have, we have this, okay, let's start with this because then we can add crystals to both of these when they're done, sounds good, actually you know what, I'm going to uh, cleanse this because it's going to be easier to paint on. So, uh, cleansing and buffing. How was your weekend? Did you do something fun? I was at a wedding. And it was my niece-in-law, um, Christian's brother's daughter. She was getting married. And I did her nails, and it was my first client in over two years. And I'm not counting Tesso because we only did one hand, and I kind of got to decide what I wanted to do. Um, jag var tydligen den enda som ville se skimmer. Ja, men vi ska. We're gonna do shimmer as well. So, yep, we're gonna do shimmer, but we're gonna start with bunny. Yes. Okay. So for this one, we're basically just going to do the same thing, but I'm going to show you how to create the flowers in a different uh, way with the dotting tools. So if you want to use that technique, you know how to do it. So we're going to start with the center flower and I'm using my biggest dotting tool. 
and then we're basically just gonna go in here I think when I did um, that one I actually started out with the bunny ears but it doesn't really matter you can do it in whichever order you want to actually and just dotting away and some more dots and it looked so pretty thank you okay i am done with the dots and now i'm gonna grab my striper brush again and then we're just gonna pull this into the center and then you will have a different type of flower but also very pretty and you can of course uh go to like the opposite side so if you want to have a little ending of the petal like if you want to have the more like a leaf shaped petal then you can just go in that direction as well but for this i think i'm gonna gonna go with this so we're just gonna flash cure that to make sure that i don't mess it up because i tend to do that if i don't uh flash cure okay let's um put flat mat on this so this is just a matte top but this is as i said this is not how i would do it on a client i would have applied my crystals first and then finished off with uh the matte top gloss but just to make sure that we're gonna fit as much as we can into this live i'm gonna do it the fast and easy way so i'm gonna cure that by the way if you want to know more on how to apply crystals where of course i'm gonna show you a little bit but this is not like the real way but if you want to really get to like a crystal pro then i highly 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 recommend that you check out my new crystal application course on mynailacademy.com i know i created it but i have to say that it's really good and you also get um crystal maps that you can use if you ever run out of ideas that you can like copy right off uh and i talk about like crystal uh the fundamentals how a crystal is like the shape of it and how you need to think to make sure that they're gonna last a really long time and until your client comes back did you record your wedding nails yes i did they're gonna be up on the next vlog on um on my youtube channel uh man so fine yeah man tag tag so much okay so we're gonna do same thing one more time so just picking up my stripey brush and pulling it into the center like that and then we're gonna cure it so then I'm going to show you the difference between the two. But here you can see that these flowers are maybe a little bit... Can you see the petals are a little bit longer? And the other ones are like, well, rounded with a little tip on it. So yeah, it's just like a different style, I guess. Um, so now I'm going to grab... I'm actually going to grab this. Um, sorry, hand. Just any, any um, clear... I recommend using manicure for those of you working with light elegance for crystals because it's a very flexible gel so it holds on to the crystals really good but please don't do what i'm about to do on a client because that is not gonna last at all so don't do what i do um but we are going to grab here are the opal opal crystals and uh, you need a dotting tool or something like this. Uh, this is included in our start kit, our beautiful start kit. And then I'm just going to add a tiny little dot of gel wherever I want the crystal to go. Um, so this technique is perfect if you're doing um, tips like this that you just want to like show off what you can do 
I'm actually going to go in with some green here. I didn't have any green on um, the other nails that I did, but I feel like I want to have green here, so I'm going to do it. And here's a pink. So we got a green one, we've got a blue, and a pink. And that's it. So now we can cure this. Uh, this is not going to last for our client, but it's going to look good for us now. So I'm going to cure that and continue with this little nail. And let's see, let's see. I need my dotting tool. There it is. Yes. Okay, so now I think we're going to come in with some pink. And maybe come up here. Like that. Boop. Boop. And I think we're going to do some pink on the other side as well. Doing flowers like this, like a French manicure, but with flowers is really trendy right now. So um, practice your dots because you're going to need it. Or if you want to use the other wiggle technique, then practice that. So then we're just going to come in here. Just go quickly. Boom. 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 Definitely need to add a flower here. So let's see what color that's going to be. Now we have this done. It's the Monday live mantra. Do as I said. Say not as I do. That is exactly what it is. It is exactly like that. Okay, so now we are going to cure um, or cleanse this. Hopefully the crystals will stay on while I'm cleansing. Uh, yeah, I think so. Yeah, I think we're good. I think we're good. Okay. I need to cleanse a little bit more. I want it super matte. Okay. Another fast way of doing this would have, of course, been to cleanse the nail first and then just put on the crystals and so you don't have to bother with this. But yeah, there is there it is. Uh, second nail done. So we got two nails now. D D D. So now we're going to move on to the next one, the bunny ears. So we're going to finish this one. And I think... Should we just go in like with a yellow? Yeah, let's do a yellow. Should we? Should we not? Whatever, let's just do a yellow. Let's just do a yellow. Oh, tack, Agnes. Okay, so dot. Mm -mm -mm. Dot. Dot. If you want to try this technique out, I would love to see it. And... Oh, well, your, your finished um, designs. That would be so much fun to watch. So uh, make sure to tag us, Moonflare Nails, Moonflare Family, or just Moonflare, Moonflare Crystals, if you're using our crystals. Um, yeah, that would be so much fun to see what you do with this. And, um, well, now you're watching the live, but I will actually also post this as a youtube video on my youtube channel selena Ryden, so you can see it there as well <sighs> okay so i think this is well a little bit flash cured anyways so let's move on to our little bunny ears i'm gonna go in with white gel paint you can use white buttercream as well it doesn't really matter just go ahead and grab what's closest to you or whatever you like to work with the most. So um, I'm going to start from the top, I think. And just come down here and stop before I get to our flower. And then just coming in like that. And then we're just going to fill this in. Like that. Oh, 
little bunny. Okay, and then we're gonna do the other side. And I'm gonna turn this around. And let's go down here. We're also gonna fill the little spaces out with some dots, but I'm gonna do that after I'm done with the bunny ears. And you can see here that I'm doing like this side a little bit rounded here and this one goes in a little bit. So I'm trying to make sure that the ears are not gonna look this like exactly the same because I want to have them a little bit more like organic if that's the right word here, but a little bit more alive maybe. Like it's actually a bunny peeking out from the flower meadow. So I think something like that. Got the bunny ears. We're gonna flash cure or actually fully cure because we're gonna put some pink on top of it. Okay, time flies when you're having fun. Okay, so I'm gonna finish off the bunny ears. Then we're gonna do the shimmer nail. I don't think I have time to do this, unfortunately, but I can walk you through it because it is really easy. And this is also something that I will go so much more into detail with on my crystal um, application course. And you can get the crystal application course on mynailacademy.com for $49. But if you get the Moonflare Crystal Kit, you will get it for free, like completely free. So then you will have all these amazing tools. Uh, you get the placemat, the triangle tray, you have crystals, you have the... Um, yeah, pick up tool, everything you need. And uh, you will get the course for free. So you might want to check it out. It is valid with, our all, uh, with all of our distributors worldwide. Okay, and now we're going to add some pink to the ears. So we're just going to start here in the center and then pull down a line. And then afterwards, we can just make it a little bit wider up here. So just start by kind of like the wiggle technique and then pull it down like that. So one more time, just gonna grab a little bit more. Okay, so you kind of just wiggle it down, wiggle, 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 and then pull it down. And then afterwards you come in and you can make it a little bit wider that. So we're going to cure that. Doot, doot. The star kit is so good. I <laughs> don't know how I've lived without it. <laughs> yes, it is really good. It's like a must have for every nail tech. And I have worked so hard on the design because I know that it is so important for us as nail techs because we're selling the product to our clients. So of course, it's not just about the crystals. The crystals are amazing. They're like really high quality and amazing, but the packaging is just as important um, so that you can really charge for the service. And I have done that work for you. Um, so make sure to keep your kit out, talk about it, really display it and show it off. So it's gonna be so much easier to um, sell it. So I'm gonna come in with um, a little bit of yellow here. Just coming up a little bit, I think. Doot. Doot. And then maybe some pink. Doot. 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 And then we're going to go in between the flowers as well. Super important. To really make it look like a flowery meadow. Okay, 
and we're going to cure that. And then we're going to do the smart, fast and easy way. So we're going to apply the flat mat first, cure it, and then add some crystals. <sighs> okay, so let's do the shimmer one. And this is going to be the last one I do. So let's do that one real quick. You already know how to create the base now. But let's get started with that. So just adding color. And you don't have to do four sections as I'm doing here. You can do more sections, of course, but I just found it, you know, easiest to do it into or make it into four sections for like this. So like that. And Let's do some blue, maybe. Doot, 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 doot. Doot. And some yellow. I'm gonna do the edges after I placed all the colors. You can do it as you go or afterwards. So that's also up to you. I think this technique is maybe a little bit faster. So just place your colors and then move on to the edges. So now we're going to grab our brush and smoosh it in between the colors. Make sure that when you move from one color to the next that you cleanse or clean your brush. Don't use cleanser, but use a dry wipe. And just remove the color. And coming up here. So if you didn't know, I actually uh, well, launched, I released a video today with like a light elegance video, but it's like a very special video because I am explaining like the entire system. So if you feel like you are super confused with the whole light elegance system and which product to combine and which product you can't combine and in which order and what layer and whatnot, uh, make sure to check it out. I even did like a little quiz <laughs> in the like in the middle of uh, the video. So it's quite fun. So we're going to cure that. Uh, and I want you to keep an eye out because my boyfriend, Christian, is actually in the video. So it would be fun if you could spot it. But he is in the video. Okay, so we're going to put some mat on this and then we're going to add some crystals to it okay and we're going to cure that i'm going to cure that for a little bit longer now for this technique we're going to need um some kind of shimmer powder and I'm going to use the Light Elegance uh, Eyes. I like it a lot. You can, of course, use any other type of shimmer as well. Just grab something that you like. But if you want to have this specific look, then I'm using Light Elegance Ice. Really pretty. Love this pigment. So I'm going to cure that a little bit more while I'm packing up my, my little colors. Yeah, so anyway, uh, the video is up on my YouTube channel now, so make sure to go and watch it if you can after we're done with this uh, live. I think you're going to learn so much, and I would say that I could promise you, actually, that you will feel so much more confident with the system. Wait. Huh. I'm about to sneeze. <laughs> oh, sorry. Okay, so now we are going to cleanse this because this time we're going to be smart. And now we're going to add some crystals. So I'm going to use the dotting tool again and then just add a little dot, 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 whoop. Dot and a little dot over here. 
Mm. Vi är gone. Okej. Okay. Prosit. Tack! <laughs> Okej. Okay. So now I want to grab some of the smaller ones and going in with some more greens in it since I didn't use it um, for my other nail because I love the green. Okay, got lots of green here. Let's just go in with green. Okay, and that's it. Gonna cure that. And once again, this is not what you do on a client. Don't do this on a client. Make sure that you seal your crystals correctly. Don't do this. Uh, now, if you want to have a tackier layer, which I think we should, because the gel paints, they cure almost to a non-tacky surface. So we need something with a little bit more of a tacky layer. You can come in with this, or you can actually come in with your super shiny or even tack. Um, let's just go in with this because it's closest to me. It really doesn't matter. You can use whatever you want for this, just as long as it has a tacky layer once it's cured. Hi, Leticia. Okay, so just gonna apply this over the entire nail and then we are going to cure it. And this is just to have a tacky layer. But what I also like when, you know, having, because this surface is a little bit bumpy because we did all the smushing. So the nice thing when you are applying something that's a little bit self, um, I mean, good, self-leveling is that you will get rid of that. So wait a couple of seconds so you don't have those brush strokes because you want to have a super clean, smooth surface. I'm not going to wait too long because we don't really have time to that for that. But yeah, just so you know. And here's our bunny ear, ears, bunny ear nail. And this is what we've done so far. I mean, we've done this for 55 minutes now, and we've done all of this. So you can definitely do this on a client. It is really fast, really easy. And I have been talking the entire time. So you can do this for sure. Okay. I think that one is done. Make sure to close all your containers when you're doing this because it's gonna go everywhere. And make sure that you have cleansed the nails so that they don't have a tacky layer on it because it's gonna get into the tacky layer. For this, I'm gonna use my Fluff Daddy. Looks like this, super fluffy brush. And I'm just gonna dab this onto the tacky layer. So easy, but it does so much and here's the thing you can do this shiny or you can do it matte on that nail i did it matte so maybe i don't know should we make it shiny let's do it shiny because you've already seen what it looks like when it's matte okay this is gonna go everywhere just letting you know and after you have applied this into a tacky layer uh cure it again because then the tacky layer is going to grab onto the pigment and then you won't have as much pigment in your uh, top gloss. But I do recommend you to have like a separate bottle with your shine. So I'm going to use this old one um, because you are going to get a little bit of, of shimmer into your top. So yeah, I would say keep a separate one. Uh, Victoria, I've missed the most. No, but that's okay because we're going to save it. So it's going to be here on Facebook, Moon Flare Nails. And it's also going to be uploaded on our YouTube channel, Moon Flare Nails. So you can, you can see it everywhere. Don't worry. We got you. Okay, so now I have cured this. We're going to pop some shine on this. And then I'm going to walk you through... Um, the crystal nail. Let's 
So shiny. I would like to see a full set of this type of nail. That would be so pretty. I actually did a similar thing many, many, many years ago. But it was kind of like this. I would say maybe it was exactly like this. But yeah, it was pretty. <laughs> so we're going to cure that for 60 seconds. And while I do that, I'm going to walk you through the crystal nail. Hurian Yodi Fluff Daddy. Uh, actually, how I clean this is that, don't kill me, but I go like this super hard on my, my pants. <laughs> but you can, of course, take, like, if, you, if you're a professional, <clears throat> then just grab, like, a towel and then go like this. I would say that's the best way. Woohoo! Thank you so much. The designs is so cute. Thank you so much for watching and for being here. Okay, so for this nail, this is really easy. You do the exact same background as we did now twice. So you have the marbled pastel background. I'm gonna come a little bit closer. Okay. Uh, and you do this over the entire nail. Make sure that if you want to have all the colors, make sure that you make sure that they meet here in the center. Cure that. And then you want to do is to grab like manicure or something like a, a clear gel with a low viscosity, put a slip layer over the entire nail and start adding your caviar beads. We have them on our website and then we have black as well. So here you have different sizes, really nice to work with. We have them at moonflare.shop. And then you just add a caviar bead, cure that, and then you come in and then you add another layer of that uh, clear gel all around, and then you start adding your crystals. You wanna start with the biggest one. So big, 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 place those first, and then you add smaller, 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 and then you uh, end up by adding just a little bit of those caviar beads. So I've used a couple of different sizes with the caviar beads. And then you wanna make sure that if this is a client, you need to cap this side so much, like really, really cap it, especially around the cuticle area and the side right here. So really make sure to go around the sides, okay? And that is pretty much it. Also make sure that you have gel all around the crystals so that the slip layer, when you put the crystals in it, it has to be not too thin, but not too thick. It has to be that perfect medium in between so that when you place your crystal down, the gel is gonna kind of ooze up on the sides a little bit. That's like the perfect amount because that way the gel is gonna grab onto the crystals as well. So there you have it. And then the last thing I did is that I went in with some matte top coat right here in the center of the heart. And that's it. And that's your pretty um, crystal nail. Okay, so now we have this one. Let's see how this one turned out. I'm going to show you the matte one so you can compare it. Patricia, so, so fun. Tack. Spanks you. Woohoo, thank you so much. Oh, yeah, I already read that one. Hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up here real quick. And then I'm going to show you the difference. So this is the exact same design. It's just that one has the shiny top gloss and the other one has a matte top gloss. So here's the difference. Which one do you like the most? Let me know in the comments. I have a hard time deciding, but I am a sucker for matte, like always. And here you can see that I didn't wait long enough. So you can kind of see the, the brush streaks here can you see that like into the shimmer so that's why you want to wait even longer to make sure that it's super super smooth before you're adding or putting it into the light and then adding your powder matte 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 i know matte it is so pretty when it's matte i agree there you go Okay, I'm just going to add this one to our collection and take a look at what we have done today. So I think I'm going to put that one in the center. Okay, yeah, that looks, that looks good. So this is what we did today. Wait, let me see if I can come closer. No, 
now, okay? I have to be down here. Yeah, so this is what we did. Uh, you can, of course, find the tips. Uh, you can find the crystals. You can find all the tools and everything at moonflare.shop. This is included in the start kit. Don't forget that you will get a free crystal course when you buy the crystal start kit. Super important. Very pretty, Zelina. Thank you so much. Marie, how fantastic is that? Thank you so much. Uh, Moonflare here is saying don't miss out Thursday takeover on Instagram stories and this week we'll have Maria and next Monday uh, Moonflare Monday live is Sofia so we got two uh, new content crew members um, that gonna do some who are gonna do some con content for us so yay Sofia so cute thank you no Nati thank you so pretty Agnes tack för idag tack 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 för roligt att ni var med ja um, yeah. and these um, feathers will be restocked uh, soon on the website as well don't forget that we have the amazing ready guana hands available as well you have the full hands you have the half hands and all that and now end of this month beginning of like end of april beginning of may we are finally moving uh fi or finished moving to our new warehouse and then we're going to be able to sell um to europe as well so excited about that uh mm, it's gonna be amazing also don't forget that we have uh, resellers all over the world we have Belgium, munai.be, we have Canada, creativebeauty.com, we have a new one in Australia, which is getbuffedpro.com, we have safi.no in Norway, and then we have uh, someone from New Zealand, and we're working on someone for the UK, hopefully it will be um done very soon so super exciting stuff happening carrie thank you so much alva tack så jättemycket create you thank you thank you hanna hey tack helt hey tack så mycket camilla tack 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 patricia tack tack snälla ni um thank you so much um have a fantastic evening or day and we will see you on socials everywhere <laughs> don't forget to check out my new video after this if you have not already okay love you so much bye